Hello and welcome back to Battletech. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I mean, I'm doing pretty good in terms of Battletech. Whoa, that's a difficult mission. Wow. Um, we can take on the next campaign mission, but we are. Um, I mean, there's a couple of things we need to be wary of. Uh, one is that our biggest mech right now is it has work being done on it. Um, that being said, we don't necessarily need that mech but i would prefer to have it i think that that's fair to fair to say um i think what i'd like to do is target acquisition i don't think i've ever done something like this get information out we're going to need to position a satellite receiver directly above the site your target task will be to place positioning beacons to allow the satellite to lock on we could try this it's a pretty good payout pretty difficult but it'll be as difficult as the priority mission um let's uh i'm gonna do this mission here this is a assassinate Ooh, i haven't done that one either torian noble is participating in a patrol as a show of support to the troops she's insisting on using her ancestral family mech which is a cicada this should make eliminating her quite easy okay um three of 13 seems pretty good i want more money Tempted to go 827. I can't say no to two cherry picked parts though. So this is an old favorite. Um, at this point, we're good with this. Oh, the Marauder is in uh, the shop. What, how long are we waiting on the uh, uh, Marauder? One day. There you go. Now we have a Marauder. So we won't have the King Crab just yet. Is this the assassinate? Yes, it is. Let's go more money to... There we go. Everyone's good. We've got Toro in there. Oh, God. All right. Hold on. Sorry. One last thing. Let's go ahead and, and level him up. He, uh, uh, you know, almost certainly got some XP to spend. Um, we'll go tactician. There we go. You know I like my tactician. Um, did anyone else get some stuff? We're still waiting on, like, more gunnery and stuff. Um, we can level up big simple 2.2.5 base weapon hit um, That's good bug isn't uh, hasn't been in a battle yet Decker hasn't been in a battle for a while Oh Wow glitch is gonna get to get that second to last Gunnery mandrake. What do you got you can um, level up your tactics? Medusa hasn't been in a game for a bit. Okay, we're good. I'm trying to tr train up some extra mercenaries, um, mostly because, you know, I am a little bit worried as we move into the late game. I have no idea how uh, suddenly vicious things will become. And um, I am a little bit... Let's go ahead and swap Toro out for Bug so that he can train up. I'm a little bit worried that at a certain point we'll, we'll just lose mechs. We'll lose mechs and we'll lose people and I'll have to recover and rather than like kind of panic panic pivot at that point I would much rather um, set myself up for um, success in terms of like being able to recover um, from a situation like that I um, want to have spare mech warriors um, so that you know, if someone dies, I can swap them out. I would also like to have spare um, mechs. I don't like having necessarily one good set of mechs that, um, you know, if if any one of them dies, then I have to basically downgrade the missions I take. Um, but I think that in order, like, I think that like 90 to 100 tons is maybe when, um, you know, mechs are late game. Um, I would I don't I don't know how much bigger they get um, If I was going to guess I would say that they a hundred ton mech is probably on the medium scale on when it comes to late game like I would imagine the biggest and heaviest mechs get upwards to like 120 140 tons I'm Not sure um, So that's uh, you know, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of thinking out loud to be honest noted Commander, remember that we're expecting a very heavy escort, so it might be wiser to hit the target and run. You know I won't be doing that. You know I'm going to be killing everything. And we have the means. We have the means um, because we have 
an effective method for assassinating. I love it. This new method um, is is looking really good. Oh, I will say um, something I am uh, not like completely ignorant of is that I might have just been getting very lucky with some of these headshots and I don't want to necessarily rely on it but I do think it's a good thing for the Marauder to do like I think it's probably always a good idea to go for the headshot um with the Marauder because you know I've I very much doubled and tripled down on all of that. Uh, I should have reserved glitch. That was a bad move that I made just now. So I'm going to go ahead and sensor lock the 65 ton because that's what she could. I mean, I could brace with her for sure, but may as well um, sensor lock and that way they lose a little bit of stuff. Now, how come big? Oh, we're still sprinting with him. We don't want to sprint with him. Can he not hit anything? Are we still in the, in our like mobile phase? Well, in that case, let's go ahead and sprint to like over here the wall. Let's have them come to us. Uh, Glitch is probably going to take a couple hits, which isn't good because they are in our lightest mech. How come Behemoth can hit stuff? That looked oh okay yeah so we can hit stuff with Behemoth, but uh, that's actually not a bad shot. Sure, let's go for it. Um, the head has... Yeah, I mean, if we if we get both hits here with the PPC, both PPCs, we will actually kill the Thunderbolt in one shot. Although it does have damage reduction, so that's not necessarily true. Actually, does it have damage reduction? I don't think it does. Okay, we've got four mechs already. We've been sensor locked. Thunderbolt... It's just sitting there. Okay, let's uh, move Bug up. Bug is going to take a shot on this 50 ton. That is a crab. Just a normal crab, though. Nothing to be... I mean, the, cra the crab is a fearsome beast. Um, well, that was just awful, Bug. That was actually just... Miserable. I mean, like, if I'm in a position where I can potentially hit a mech in the head and take it out immediately, that means that they can do that too, right? It's worth noting that. Um, actually, we don't want to do a precision shot. I want to reserve those for the Marauder. That's maybe the one reason why this method is not advisable is because it does mean we have to reserve all of our precision shots for these potentially lucky hits but it's a 35 percent chance right like i do have to hit it you know it's 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 a it's a it's a 35 percent chance twice um i'm aware of that but still like it's a pretty good chance if we hit it with one then the next shot is is pretty well we didn't hit it apparently at all but we have a 95 percent chance here and then we have a 35 percent chance of hitting it in the head we did hit it in the head once not bad. Now you might, you might, uh, here, here, here's the, the big brain. Um, you know, I, I am not, uh, like, again, I, I'm, th I'm, I'm not just trying to go for the lucky shots here. I'm aware of how it can also be strategically, uh, ill-advised. You might ask, well, um, it, 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 you know, if it takes you three tries to get the headshot, isn't that the same as just like knocking off parts of its arm? It's true. I mean, we could just like go for the arms and then, the, you know, therefore knock off some of the extra weaponry. Um, I am, I am, uh, aware of that, but, um, I, my argument, I guess, is that it would take us probably two to three turns to knock off an arm. So in this sense, we, we kind of potentially guarantee like, it, it, you know, 30% chance enough times is, is basically a guarantee, right? We guarantee that we are um, going to kill it. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. So let me just think here. Give me, give me a second here. I kind of want to just like have them come to us. There's a lot of stuff on the field right now and I'm not, not a huge fan. 
I don't know why I'm having the the new guy take a shot. Wow, look. So the the head is uh, exposed right now. We got a really lucky shot. I don't expect it to happen, but if we did, it would be kind of amazing. We are taking some nasty shots. We're not exposed just yet. We have enough for a um for another precision shot. I'm going to try Oh, we can't hit the crab from here. Damn it. Um, do I have enough for two? No, I don't. All right, so I'm just going to hit them. We could get lucky. I mean, it's we really only need to hit it like once. Oh, we didn't get lucky. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I, there's, there's definitely downsides to trying this, trying it this way. Just need to hit it once. There we go. I mean, the other benefit, of course, and I mean, I know this is like, um, probably, uh, I'm, I'm sandbagging a little bit here, and I understand that, but like, um, the other benefit to doing this is we get way more mech parts and therefore we get a better payday like we don't necessarily need a thunderbolt but it would be nice um and we could take it and sell it or we could just like you know have a thunderbolt like what what the heck why not right so i have i have uh stepped around the corner this dragon's pretty well armored right now Ooh. Going for the other dragon, huh? They're moving up. Where is the... Who is the, the person I'm meant to assassinate? Destroy Torian Noble. Is this the... Exp um, the escort? If I could, like, get behind any of these guys, it would be kind of nice. Don't, I mean, make no mistake, I'm not, I'm not just going to rely on headshots to get my kills. I am also going to rely on, like, good old-fashioned tactics. Waiting on you, Commander. We got good shots got on all of these guys. We do have enough for two precision shots, I'm pretty sure. So let's, um, let's see if we can knock, you know, it'd be nice to knock off that, uh, AC-20. That's, uh, that's a really really decent amount of firepower on the field where is it mm, left arm there it is well i mean we can hit the ammo i'd rather go for the ammo because you know we kill the ammo then we kill the ac20 but we also go for the ammo and we get a crit maybe do we knock it over we didn't knock it over okay so there's another mech over there in the brush in the brush is there another tank or mech over there in the brush that's kind of dangerous Okay, let's um let's see if we can't get the headshot on this hunchback. At the very least we'll knock it over. Nice, we did it. Yo, how many mechs are over there? I'm gonna back up. I think that means we can still hit it whatever's over there we can't we can't expose ourselves to it we'll just you know we'll hit the crab i do um i do worry that maybe using or dedicating all of our uh precision shots for for headshots is is maybe not the way okay these guys moved up we can maybe get some shots on the back Let's just like move behind this like plateau here. I want to hit this crab. I want to take out the crab, but the crab is very, very tanky. Structure exposed. Okay, so we might do a precision shot just to like take it out completely or take out whatever's exposed. Okay, left torso. Got 
Pilot injured. Oh god, okay, so they got long range missiles, and so they're as long as there's two mechs here um putting a beat on us, they can hit us. Which really sucks. What's up, Bob? Warning. Armor low. I'm gonna try and back up a little bit more, but it's it's okay. We we've got a really good shot. We should be able to kill the crab here. There we go. Unfortunately, we didn't make up enough resolve to do a precision shot. Um, it can't happen every time. What, what can I say? On my way. But we can um, at least damage its sensors, right? Giving him everything I've got. I don't know if damaging its sensors um, means that it doesn't see us anymore. The fact that we the Centurion is exposed is very bad. We're just gonna hit it. We're not gonna do anything fancy. I would like to try and get a headshot. It's just a shadow hawk, so I mean it shouldn't be too difficult. I love that. Basically every missile hit it there. Okay, we've got a 70 ton mech. That's not good. No, that's 20 tons. I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading that incorrectly. Okay, we're gonna reserve the the um, precision shot actually, and just um, hit this with like ridiculous firepower instead. We should knock it over. We did knock it over. Pilot injured again. Um, uh, we can do a called shot with the behemoth without using a precision, sh precision shot. So that'll be good. 31% chance, but still. Head hit, pilot injured. They've taken three hits. We're, we're encountering mechs that um, can take three hits without dying, and that's kind of spooky. Um, let's just go for the torso. I don't really care to have a Shadowhawk anyway. There we go. So they shouldn't be able to see us now. They have to move up. There is a 75 ton mech. I didn't misread that. We're going to reserve glitch. I'm going to try and do a sensor lock with one of the short range mechs. We've got, oh, there's three of them. 30 ton, 20 ton, 75 ton. Okay. Um, so move up a little bit and do a sensor lock. And then we're, we're going to start lobbing four. There's four of them. Uh, I'm just going to try and hit the 75 ton and weaken it a little bit. What is? Oh, that's a Marauder. Second Marauder wouldn't be a bad idea at all. And yeah, I'm going to do a precision shot and I'm going to try and hit it in the head. The head is, I mean, it's not too bad 18 percent chance i'm pretty sure that still means we have an 18 percent chance per hit but i'm not sure but if we do this then we have a potential uh, to weaken it for the behemoth to take a shot waiting for order um unfortunately like just i just want to see here okay yeah if we moved a little bit forward we would have a better chance of hit of of you know we would have a chance of hitting it unfortunately i'm too far behind here this pillar so i'm going to move up a little bit with the uh, potential to take a shot on the next um turn and um what else can we do what what can we do with bug i'm just going to brace him i don't think that there's much we can do right now marauder's going to move forward that actually kind of puts them in behind that pillar a little bit reserve glitch Shoot, how come they can see me now? We're gonna... Oh, God. The fact that they... Yeah, moving... That's why I was... Uh. Okay, big simple. Go ahead and sensor lock. We're still... I'm, I'm gonna go with plan A here. Good to go. 
Um, we'll use another precision shot. Did I weaken? Did I? I didn't even hit the head. Okay, you know what? Um, rather than doing that, I'm gonna try and hit some locust, like this locust here. I'm just gonna go for the torso. We should be able to take it out with this one hit. There we go. And I mean, if they can see me, or if I can see them, they, probably they could see me. So that's why we want to do that. Um, we can't unfortunately see the marauder. However, we do have enough um, morale to peek our head and uh, try and take a headshot here and knock out another thing. Unfortunately, if I do that, then then the marauder can hit us. So I don't like that necessarily. Um, so I'm going to just brace. Force them to move up. I think that this is pretty good. What do you mean a javelin? Where did you come from? Commander? Where the heck did you come from, bud? Let's just try and take it out. Okay. Um... I mean, there's there's quite a lot going on here. Uh, I'm gonna move our this dragon is has taken quite a bit of damage actually, so it'd be better to maybe move up the other dragon. Um, can we hit it from here? Sort of. I really want to take out that that uh, javelin, but like now there's other problems as well. We knocked it down. I I really kind of wished that that would have killed them. Marauder's probably gonna move up. Um, move. I'll move up my Marauder, and see if we can't get a headshot on the Trebuchet. They do have some evasion, so the, the odds are not great, but they're pretty good. Like our accuracy is actually really good. It was, it was pretty close. We did hit it in the head. Probably it's exposed. Here comes the Marauder. They're going to hit... Oh, they're going to hit the dragon. That sucks. Commander? Warning. Armor breach. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go for it at this point. Moving to position. Let's just take out that javelin. Commencing alpha strike. Unfortunately, uh, bug in this dragon is not gotcha. super effective. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna keep um, the centurion back. There's no reason for them to poke their head. Uh, we'll use another precision strike. Are, is their head exposed? No, no. But they did take some damage. I mean, might as well go for it. I did hit the head. But, you know, like, when you're dealing with, uh, like, three damage, it's really not, um, super effective. Um, if I move forward, I feel like I have a better chance of hitting it here. I have basically the same chance, maybe? No, I do have a better chance. Alright, I'm gonna move forward then, and I'm gonna try and take out the Marauder. Oh, wow, the head hasn't been hit at all? I thought I, I did hit it once. Firing full on enemy. We did hit the head. This is good. I'm gonna try to uh, continue um, trying to hit that trebuchet and just like take it out. We're out of uh, morale, so we'll have to build up some more. Good to go. Um. The damage on our mech is actually pretty evenly distributed. We don't have to play too much metagaming with the armor. We did manage to take it out. I don't know. Oh, we didn't knock it out or knock it down. Sorry. Uh, okay. Marauder actually doesn't have all that much firepower. At least it doesn't seem to. Just gonna go for it. We're almost out of ammo. 
on the uh, Centurion. I thought I hit the Marauder's head. Very strange. Missed with the PPC. That's this is good. Okay, we should be able to take out the trebuchet right here. Not gonna do a um, precise hit. Wow, it's still standing. Waiting for orders. Uh, Marauder is actually pretty well hidden because of the terrain. Still, I think we can go for it. Oh, except we are overheating. We haven't hit the head? I swear to God we have. There must be other mechanics in involved here that I am not aware of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off this PPC and that'll actually give us enough. Roger. Maybe I keep reading the called shot as being uh, like we hit it. Success. That was so stupid. I was trying to make it lean left a little bit because I expected to kill the trebuchet here, but instead I leaned too far left and uh, yeah. Okay, maybe we can't actually kid hit like actually kill this thing by exploding the head. So instead I'm going to go for a leg shot and that way we can do called shots with everyone and not just the Marauder. Good. These are decent misses. Good to go. Um, we're pretty much done with the Centurion, unfortunately. All weapons are go. That's it. So we're out of ammo. All out of LRM, Commander. Oh no! Warning. Stability lost. Warning. Weapon system destroyed. Oh my god. What's up, Fox? Okay, I, I'm gonna have to move forward with the Marauder. Oh, uh, except... Okay, you know what? Let's take a second and actually try and kill this trebuchet with a melee attack. We'll recover our heat. Location confirmed. Nice. Physical attack. I might kill it. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we just lost an arm on our dragon. Um, there's another mech. Oh, I swear to God. Alright, sorry about that. Um... So Big Simple has taken quite a few hits and um, has lost. Oh, the plus plus small laser. No. Oh, damn. That really sucks. Um, I'm going to back him up. Or them. Uh, they really can't get that far back. All right, we're going to back up. Hopefully, um, let's actually give him vigilance. Um, do we want to give him vigilance? Remove all stability damage. We do have some stability damage, but I'm just going to do a brace and hope for the best. It's not going well. I mean, it's going all right, but there's another mech in, over there and they can apparently hit us and that just sucks. Let's just lob some stuff at them. Wow, bug, you really kind of shoot bad, don't you? Um, glitch, I'm just going to keep them in there. We don't, we don't want to expose that mech. I don't think it can take a hit. Did we actually hit? Okay, we've, we've hit the leg. Um, I could hit it some more. Why don't we hit, try it and uh, shoot that leg. Nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's, it wasn't really enough, unfortunately. I do, I wouldn't mind getting some Marauder parts. It, it was a real shame that I haven't been able to hit the head. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna go for it. Yes! I have learned nothing! <laughs> okay, we're gonna see what that last thing is. Is that the- oh, that's the noble. 
Good lord. We we still haven't actually hit our target. That's hilarious. Bug. Good lord. That that is just awful. I mean, we could try and move. She's just gonna take so many hits and and not be able to do anything. The only thing we can do with her is is like throw some melee. Where are you shooting at? Are you shooting at the Marauder? Standing by. Got it. I mean, I'm gonna go for it. Acknowledged. Uh, head hit. Pilot injured. Oh my god. All right. Hopefully that's the last of that. No, uh, no promises though, apparently. Um, so I mean we only have so much ammo, but I mean we don't use up a lot of it Um, I would love to hit the leg on the cicada. I mean, it's almost dead, right? But you never know we'll, we'll get lucky. Oh, we hit the head again. Isn't that nice? Good to go. Um, we are kind of overheating. Why don't we go Excuse me Why don't we go, why don't we do a melee hit? Um, on its right side, maybe we'll hit the leg Punch yes Re Oh right arm destroyed Okay It can it can escape apparently Still not doing anything with that Um, yeah, I mean let's uh, we got a precision shot. Let's just take it I'm actually not gonna go for the head I don't care about having a cicada got it. We're just gonna go for that leg There we go right leg destroyed knock it over Done That was the last bit of damage it needed area has been cl cleared. Darius has given me the green light to land immediately Mission nice successful. extra pay um we should be able to grab another mech this sucks though this really sucks we we lost quite a lot um the dragon lost both a leg and an arm oof not sure how to prevent that in the future um we could take two parts here i wouldn't mind oh if only we could get I had gone for three. I could take a whole marauder here But i'm gonna take two marauder parts. Maybe we'll get lucky get the third one um We'll get we have eight chances to get them unfortunately part of you know this it's a double-edged sword, you know, like uh we, we have eight chances, but there's so many mech parts. We're probably gonna get something we don't want yeah, we got crab and cicada parts. I'll probably sell those immediately Shoot We've almost got um a, another marauder though If we could set it up like uh our first marauder we could just go full assassin That'd be fun Let's see we're gonna need to do some mech repairs. Yeah, no kidding one of our mechs is like basically well half of it's destroyed We'll have to refit it at the very least Okay, this is gonna be expensive 230,000 um, I don't know. Yeah, we can't really do anything here. This just t tells us what parts we need to replace so let's go ahead and replace some parts. We don't have any jump jets. I guess we don't have any jump jet H So that's expensive as well. well. We only have one jump jet on this thing now Um, let's throw some medium Lasers on it. I can't remember. I guess I only had the one Did I only have one medium laser on this thing and then I had two small lasers which we, you know, I'm going to continue rolling with that uh, The SRMs are in the chest or torso. So, you know, they didn't uh, We didn't lose them um, We're gonna need 
SRM, more SRM ammo. Maybe the SRM, uh, that, that might be it, is the SRM uh, ammo might have gotten crit shot and the damage like went across the, the whole thing. I mean, also the it getting knocked over is probably uh, did some extra damage. I guess we're just doing another medium laser. Um, this is fine. Is this really what our setup was? We're, we're not going to have that jumped yet. We should put another heat sink on this thing though. I'll replace the jump jet later. For now, I think that this is fine. Right. If I could get to uh, buy another Marauder part, I would like to try. Are we still in like black market zone? We are. Uh, let's see if they have a Marauder part. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I guess this is his, uh, alphabetical. Yeah, they don't have a Marauder part. They've got lots of really nice stuff, though. It's a Javelin. Why would I care about the Javelin? It's 30 tons. This is a Victor 80 ton. I love the idea of, of a mech called a Zeus. Battlemaster. That seems like a really good mech. Banshee. Um, but we're good here. We don't... You know, there's nothing else we really need. So the dragon's gonna be in the shop for 31 days. We do, we did make some money. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and um, sell some of our, the, the parts we got. I'm not selling the Marauder parts. I think that would actually be a viable late game, maybe. Mix, no, um, equipment? Where are, can we only sell the parts in the mech bay? strange we'll sell the cicada part it's a nice chunk of money right there we'll sell the crab part i know the crab but you know uh i'm gonna sell the wolverine part anything at 55 tons i'm uh, you know the kintaro really is quite nice i guess another dragon wouldn't be bad but honestly at this point like it might be a good idea to just shoot for 75 70 or 75 i mean we have a warhammer part catapult like i don't think i care about the catapult certainly i don't care about two different catapults i might want to build a jaeger mensch but uh let's we'll keep we'll keep what we got for now um i am gonna sell this the kentaro and the uh shadow heart hawk part though Okay, I mean that was a that was just to buy us a bit of time, but now we have to buy more time. Um, we don't really have anything to replace the dragon right now, so we're just gonna have to wait it out and and pay the bills. While in Brisbane, you get a message from the commander of another mercenary company passing through. After some formalities, the message gets uh, straight to the point. My boys tell me you have glitch on your crew. As one commander to another, I need you to t I need to tell you glitch is not a good hire. To be blunt, she's a thief and a backstabber, and only common decency had me leave her on a station instead of booting her through the airlock when I finally fired her ass. Be careful with your crew and keep in mind that a mech warrior with a bad reputation can bring down the reputation of your whole outfit. Talk to glitch about the warning. Glitch leans back in her chair and laughs. That commander really has it in for me. Yeah, I've got a history, but I fired. I got fired from that outfit for, for refusing to follow stupid orders. I guess I set a bad example for the other pilots. Hey, thanks for asking me about it instead of just believing him. I knew you were a good one. Glitch has gained the following tags dependable. This is good. Yeah, I mean, Glitch has done a lot in the out in my outfit and has been pretty um, dependable, so I, I don't know why I would believe that. Work on Argo is complete. Let's see what our new Argo looks like. After uh, paying the bills, of course. Looks more or less the same. TBH. Maybe it looks different, I don't know. We can do another ship upgrade, though. Um can uh, do the power systems i wouldn't mind uh, improving our yeah let's improve our our refit reharness we'll that will um you know make make it so that mechs spend less time in the uh the shop 
we can look at some contracts but i'm pretty sure we're gonna be heading off to uh let's just actually let's just travel to our our, our campaign mission because um you know we're waiting we're, we're gonna have our best mech so we may as well just make our way i'm pretty sure with our new crab mech um we're, we're gonna be well suited for the next campaign mission i could be wrong but um i'm willing to you know bet that i'm i'm correct about that i mean it's the the crab is just absurd it's absurdly powerful i wonder actually if um if i'd swapped a few things around from the marauder if the crab might be a better better suited for trying to do like uh headshots toro enters your the, your quarters and snaps to attention glancing between you and darius Darius stares the mech warrior down. We've had a complaint about you, soldier, causing trouble in the mech bay. That mech tech's got a grudge against me, sir. My mech's been opened up for way longer than anyone else's, and for no good reason. I was just trying to get things moving. Darius glances at you. Are you buying this, Commander? Uh, order Toro to stay out of the mech bay until work is completed. <laughs> Toro is not a technician. Instruct Yang to discipline the mech tech. Um... No, nah, I'm going to tell Toro to stay out. Oh my god, I lost morale for that? God, that sucks. Later that week, Darius reports in, Well, Florentia Toro did stay out of the mech bay. That didn't stop the technician from accidentally taking a spectacular fall in the hallway. He's pretty beat up, but he should be able to return to duty in a week or so. Toro's gained the following tags rebellious. The company suffers a negative two tech point penalty for seven days. Morale decreased by two. Well, I mean, to be honest, that would be enough for me to fire them. Like, you, no, <laughs> we're not, we're not doing that, bud. Um, like, I'm willing to believe that maybe, uh, maybe they were telling the truth, but like, yeah, I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna fire them. Uh, from a, a a story standpoint, and also just like a, a command standpoint, like if you injure, like the mech techs, even if they're being assholes, then you're like a far bigger asshole than, than they ever were. So like, uh, take a hike. Um. I know it's just a story thing, and it might not happen again. But he did gain the trait rebellious, and I don't need. Uh, a rebel like we're already rebels if you like you know another way of saying rebel is a you know, mutinous um we don't need people working for us that aren't gonna like take a hint oh i guess the oh yeah that's the that's the new um the new upgrade so we just lost morale we lost tech points um sucks actually bad we don't have to do the next campaign mission when we get there, by the way. I am going to um, shop around, see if there are other contracts. There's probably nothing. Yep, that's, that's correct. Okay, well, at the very least, we still have to wait. Oh, no, we don't have to wait. We could just do it. Okay, um, it's a bit late in the episode, but, uh, you know, we're, I, I think, I think we, we have enough time. Grave robbing in orbit are true. There it is, Archru, a more foreboding hunk of ice I've never seen. You were born in the system, were you not, Mr. Oliveira? Yes, Lady Arano, I grew up an, on Nassau Heights, one of the orbital hab stations above the planet's surface. Nobody makes a landfall except for the surface mining teams, and they stay only for month-long shifts. It's too dangerous for permanent habitation. I remember, I remember an old folk story that originated with these mining teams. My father shared it with me when I was young. The Locura, I think it was called. If memory serves, it was about an ill wind that would howl through the canyons, killing engines and scrambling computers. The stuff of nightmares for such an inho inhospitable world. Yes, Lady Areno, it's a gremlin story, something the miners can blame when they pass out drunk with the headlights running. The Locura killed my engine. I barely got out alive. Not our proudest achievement as a culture, but apparently it gets around. Are there any real threats down there that we need to worry about? Not unless you get out of your battle mech. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. How likely are we to run into the surface miners you were talking about? 
don't worry you won't not where you're you, not where you'll be dropping surface teams tend to cluster around the rocky outcrops that ring the planet's equator that's where you find all the really good stuff the planetum sorry platinum the ruthenium the rarer exotics you'll be well well clear of the mining zones not a great vacation spot got it let's continue house carosas has provided us with five supply ships to carry whatever we find on the surface Captain Grigas of the Ars Delphi uh, Delphinus will serve as our point of contact for the fleet. After Dur Dr. Murad uh, is finished interfacing with the castle computer, she'll pop the doors and will run a threat assessment. Then, if everything looks clear, we'll have Samir set you down on the ground. Hey guys, I hate to interrupt, but I've got a sensor blip on my screen. It's a dropship. Can't make out what kind. She's heading for the planet's surface. Looks like her point of origin was Archer's second moon. That's strange. Archer's moons are uninhabited. Is it a directorate ship? Still too far to say. At their current rate of speed, it'll be at least an hour before I can give you a positive ID. Then it could be anybody. I can tell you from experience that successor state ships have a way of showing up where you'll least expect them. I don't, I don't agree with that. We can't wait for a threat assessment. If we're going to do this, now's the time. You're right. The last thing we need is a directorate patrol dropping on top of us while we're lo looting the armory. If we act quickly, we stand a chance of getting in and out clean. We don't have time to play this safe, so we're dropping now. I want our mechs on the ground when the doors open. I'll inform Captain Grigus of the change. You can't go down there in person, Kamea, and certainly not before we're sure it's safe. You're the leader of the restoration. We can't afford to lose you on a salvage operation. Um, it's her call, Lord Madeira, not yours. I don't like that. Afraid I'm with Lord Madeira on this one, Lady Arana. Let us take the risks. That's what you're paying us for. This isn't about salvage, damn it. My father spent the half, last half of his life dreaming of the Argo and her secrets. This is one of those secrets. I will see this through for him and myself. Stupid, dumb, don't like it, hate it. Ridiculous. We're going to get it back for you. We're going to get the secrets back for you. You'll see them then. Don't be obstinate. Now, it will take time and expertise to get whatever battle mechs we find in the castle's armory up and running again. Lord Carosa sent us a recovery team, and I want our best mech tech on the ground leading them. That's you, Mr. Vertinen. You'll be riding with me. <laughs> what? You're going to send Yang down there? What? If I if Yang eats it in this mission, I'm going to be really pissed off. Guess I'll go warm up the rumble seat. You know, the other only other time I've sat in one of those things was on St. Loris, and I got my arm blown clean off for my trouble. Here's hoping you don't go two for two. Good luck down there. I'll be keeping an eye out from uh, up here. Well, don't like it, hate it, hate, hate this. Ah, they're going to even take up one of my slots with Kamea's Kentaro. It's a 55 ton mech. Kamea, god damn it. Not only is it like a stupid risk that doesn't need to be taken, but also it's like genuinely going to make the mission more difficult. I hate that. That's dumb. Dumb and stupid. Um, hate that. We're gonna put uh, throw down a glitch. It's a polar biome, so I don't have to worry about heat. I am upset. Upset with stupid, obstinate little princesses that think they are the protagonist of their main story. And and decide they need to be in the front lines in a in a their little heirloom mech 55 ton piece of garbage Why? Why? You're gonna make the mission more difficult gonna get yourself killed gonna lose the entire arena restoration uh, Going to fail everything and everyone like that's that's so stupid You know, there's a dropship is probably directorate i mean there's a very good chance it is like let's not be completely naive um and you're like yeah let's l let me go and dig in the mud let me go dig in the dirt for some cool trinkets 
Good luck down there. I'll be cruising on the upper atmosphere and monitoring your pro progress just in case. Roger that, Miss Mayor. Dr. Murad, have you had any luck con connecting with Castle Nautilus's computer? Already on top of it, Lady Arano. The handshake has been established and I have command line access. Door control is being a little finicky, though. Work fast, Doc. Riding in this rumble seat is like sitting on a jackhammer in a sauna on the sun and Lady Arano's pilot piloting is aggressive. Poor you. Not to worry, though. I think I found a workaround for the problem. Get walking towards the main door and I'll have them open by the time you get there. Understood, Doctor. Do whatever you have to do. Lady Arano out. You little prissy princess. Look at me and my Kintaro. Oh, I can punch things hard. No, you can't. No, you can't. It was nice, uh, you know, in that one mission. Don't get me wrong. It was nice. But, you know, it's not really gonna cut it anymore we're just gonna run through the terrain Location confirmed. Got it. so we don't have a long range uh mech anymore the standard approach isn't working i'm inputting a valid id but for some reason the door won't budge look at this thing Yo, look at the the crab though. King Crab has got it going on. Sounds good. I'm moving. Um, the only thing that sucks about it right now is its movement speed. Ah, and I've got it. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna try something. Doctor Murad, what did you just do? The lights are flickering and my screen is dead. Doctor Murad, Mister Oliveira. The whole Argo's gone dark. I'm not picking up a drive signature. Whatever Farah just did, it must have knocked out her engines. Worry about it later. Look, those vents in the rocks, they're splitting out, spitting out drones. Be careful of those things. They're armed to the teeth and coming in fast. Oof. Probably more where they came from. Um, we're gonna have to fight something not a mech? Seems strange. It's funny, the Marauder looks small in comparison to some of the other mechs, but it is, like, far bigger. Waiting for orders. Uh, oh, what do we got over here? We got some oh, pretty nasty things. Let's see if we can't take something out. Nice. I hear ya. One for the scrap. Um, okay, we got something over there. Let's take some shots on that. You betcha. Bandit. So what is command oh these are just drones? Or are they just automatic? Reading loud and clear. Uh we can only hit it with the LRMs there. Okay, we can only hit it with the LRMs, period. Look at Kintar. Look, look at the, the how gaudy Arano's mech is, too. It's bl red and gold. Sorry, I'm ripping on her real hard right now, but I, I can't help but resent her a little bit right now. Hmm... Can do a jump. I, I'm gonna just do a sprint so that the crab is the first thing they shoot at. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully. Nope. Okay, well, they did shoot the crab. Ouch. Okay, Dragon's taking some nasty hits right now. Okay, let's see if we can't take something out with the Kentaro. Okay, that's some something destroyed. That's good. Should be able to kill something. Um, yeah, we can take out that heavy with two PPC shots. 
Nice. Good to go. Reporting. I'm gonna move over here because I don't want to be taking out like more hits. Should be able to take out this medium with uh, the dragon. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. I really want to see the crab in action. It has not yet to fully fight just yet. Honestly, wouldn't mind. We can do a split shot. Okay, what could we... We could split light... Oh, we're going to build up quite a lot of heat. Let's turn off the coil. It's not going to be particularly helpful here. Actually, does that build up heat? It does build up quite a lot of heat. Um, We'll do uh, a large... We'll do... Yeah, let's just like split things evenly. That's one ex one dead. That's all the missiles on the heavy drone. That's another one dead. We just killed two vehicles with the crab. We can't stay out here in the open. If we don't find harder cover, we're going to get swamped. So what's the plan? You fall back and find an extraction point. I'm going to get you the hell out of here. No, we have to push forward to the doors. Our only way out of this is through. Dr. Murad will fix this. I believe it. Lady Urano. She's right, Samire. An outpost castle like Nautilus could bring down a dozen leopards. Probably at the same time. If you try to extract this, it'll blow you out of the sky. Damn it. Okay, you're right. Stay down there. Uh, stay alive down there. I'll keep trying to get Farah on the comms. Do that. For now, we've got to get our hand heads back in the game. Look over there. The damn castle is activating turrets. More vehicles as well. The turrets get a free uh, turn, I guess. That is a AC 100. That sucks a lot. Really sucks that the turrets get a free turn? That really, really sucks. What is shooting us from behind? Okay. We're going to have to back up while we're killing things. Is there a uh, turret generator? I don't think that there is, so we're just gonna have to shoot stuff. I'm on the move. It was always the plan, right? Just gonna split our shots. Hopefully we can take out we'll something here. We'll weaken them at, at the very least. Oh, wow, we didn't e even expose them. Well, this sucks. Um, we can't hit anything, basically. I mean, I can try and shoot that turret there, but I might hit the Kentaro. And it's fine. I don't care. Okay, that's one of them dead. Um, really need to get the Behemoth out of there. I'm just going to sprint. There's a ton of vehicles now behind us, all pointing at our backs. So honestly, some evasion would be really, really good right now. Um, really sucks that we can't hit that one turret in the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot that, uh, that one turret here. And I'm, I mean, we're going to turn off a bunch of stuff. I'm going to hit it with like this much. We'll actually, you know, in fact, we could go like heavier on the uh, short range missiles and then conserve some heat. We did destroy it. That was a very tight call. <laughs> the crab has taken some hits. Oh, there's another turret. Marauder's taking some hits. Yeah, they're all going to be shooting us from behind, and that really sucks. We don't have a lot of armor from behind. Good to go. So what I will do is I'm going to elect to turn around while I'm moving and try and kill some stuff from behind. On. That did not do it.
Let's just try and kill one thing at a time here. Wow, that didn't do it, huh? Standing by. Okay, I do want to try and kill um, those things at distance. At least one of them, because they're gonna be they're gonna suck, right? Oh god, heavy. We can only hit them with the LRMs. Yeah, this sucks. Uh, the Kentaro is is not really optimized in any good way. Are we only at range? Okay, we're not really at a good range right now. If I went here, I can hit that with everything, and I can hit that with everything. So this would be good. Um, splitting our shot here might not be a great idea, but I am going to do it. <laughs> I might try and shoot with everything minus the coil M. We are going to be building up a little bit of heat here. Um, what is that? Sensors impaired. Too difficulty to all of this unit's attacks until its next activation. Um... Yeah, if I take off one SRM, then it will be a bit better. So we're just going to dedicate... Uh, let's honestly dedicate more to A than B, and it will just soften up B for the next hit. That did not kill it. That's a real bummer. <laughs> They're going to be doing some pretty nasty damage. Yep. Two PPCs on that thing, huh? It looked like uh, two PPCs. That looks like two PPCs. Okay, Behemoth has taken a shot. I might be able to kill that thing with two PPCs. I don't think so, though. No, we should. Let's try it. Nice. Okay. Good. I, I hate that she has LRMs on this, like, clearly optimized for short range distance mech. Okay, that's the second turret exposed. Or, uh, sorry, dead. I can try and kill something while I, uh, back away. Oh, is my- my left arm is exposed. That, oh, that's the right arm, and now I've just leaned towards- it's because I keep moving and also turning, and it, it, it's exposing our, our arm. Not good. Let's see if, uh, let's use a precision shot just to try and take this thing out. There we go. One less thing firing on us. Let's sprint towards the door. Lady Arano. Lady Arano, do you read me? Darius, thank the gods. Tell me what's going on up there. Doc Marad must have poked her nose into something she shouldn't have. Everything's going haywire up here. Doc's putting out fires as we speak. Exo, listen to me. You, you tell Doc Marad that if she doesn't get these doors open right now, Lady Arano is dead. We all are. I'm well aware of that, Yang. Working on it now. Just hold on. Hold out a little longer. I'm working on. All right. We should be okay. The tur the the main like threat was honestly those turrets. Oof. Oof. Both. Oh god. Both uh, PPCs hit the Marauder. Um. Two more PPCs. She's taken some major hits. What? What is? Oh, really? More? Damn. Um, I really need to m move that. Like, oh, God. So the Marauder's head is exposed right now. So if it takes another unfortunate hit, it's just dead. Uh, yeah. That thing has two PPCs. Come 
How much armor are we talking? Yeah, I don't think I can kill this thing. I mean, I can try. If I hit everything on one side, it'll do it. Nope. Tell me what you need. Just going to try and take out this drone. We're overheating, so I can't do that. Um, so let's just do this. Okay, that's that's that. I probably overdid it there. Commander, reporting one last vehicle. Okay, at least now I can kind of turn correctly. Um, so let's turn our what is that? That's our right arm, right? Let's turn our left arm in. Got it. So we have a bit more armor. Um, I I don't know if I have enough firepower here. But I'll try all the same. Affirmative. Not bad, but it didn't expose it. We've got a bunch of stuff heading over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sprint forward with the crab. I can't actually even hit anything right now. The crab has taken some hits. Like, you know, we're, we're not... The, the crab is not indestructible right now either. Okay, well, thank God we turned that thing. Back up through my armor, Commander. Okay, its left arm is exposed now as well. Can we can we stop can we stop hitting the dragon, please? Wow. Cool. How how many vehicles are are we doing here? Okay, the crab is exposed. This is unbelievably bad. I don't know. We have to survive for two rounds. Our apparently our left hand is actually not exposed, so I'm not sure what what happened there. Let's try and kill this thing. Firing everything I've got. Okay, that's that dead. That's a vehicle kill. Um Kamea's got a lot of armor right now. We could sprint her forward. She's got the most speed. Sprint her forward and like buy us some time and give put something both with a lot of armor as a target and also um you know it uh, the evasion should help as well. Might be able to take that thing out. I'm really worried about the um the marauder right now. I should be able to take it out if I hit both times. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Yes, yes, shoot at the Kentaro. It's okay if you hit it, it's got armor. So it's the leg damage on the King Crab. That is a bummer. But um, it's, you know, it's still going to be useful. I'm not going to bother with a, a precision shot right now. Um, let's hold back a little bit. Let's see. Uh, we're hitting it mostly on the left side. All right, let's throw a bit more at it. I just, I need to guarantee the kill. Nice. The must fall. So we got two more vehicles. Crab's still taking hits. Hopefully not in the leg. Good, good, good. They're shooting at the Kentaro. That's what I like to see. I know we're using our like most important character as bait right now, but like I have to. Everyone else is taking a lot of really bad damage. She's not even exposed yet. Got it. Tamire, broadcast this now. On it. Okay, what's going on? Oh, we have one more round to survive. Okay. We can hit that drone. Uh, we have enough morale. Let's try and kill it. Oh, we're overheating. Um, can't really hold back. So instead, I'm just going to sprint her away. Well, I won't sprint her away. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. We'll sprint her into this corner and point her inwards just so we can uh, get our heat back. Our right arm is still exposed. So we're just gonna try and angle our left arm in right, and uh, try and kill something. 
we do have quite a bit of heat built up. But we can do some nice damage. Commencing alpha strike. Yes, that's another vehicle dead. You have my mover down. I can hit it, that thing there with everything. Use another precision shot. Should be able to do this even without building up enough, uh, like too much heat. But uh, a Lady Arano does not really have the battle expertise to okay she she got it she got it so we have two vehicles over there unfortunately gonna angle my left leg away so hopefully it doesn't get hit there we can only hit it with the large laser that's a bummer I'm assuming the doors are going to open up and we have to get back to that evac zone. But still, there's only two vehicles on the field. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic. Sensors impaired sucks. Two PPCs suck, but it only hit with one. Accepted automated defenses disengage. Welcome, Argo. Thank the gods for that. Dr. Murad, I need a status report. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, I used our code breaker to access a sealed p portion of the Nautilus memory core. When I got in, I grabbed up every encrypted file I could find, and I did get the door codes, but I also found something else. What did you let loose on my ship, Doctor? I don't know. Something they were researching there. It's malicious code of some kind. I think I inadvertently let it out of quarantine. Yeah, and you tripped an alarm while you were at it. Look, the good news is that I've got it contained. 90% certain, but it's caused a lot of damage up here. Communications are patchy, main drive system is offline, we're floating dead in space. Lots of superficial damage, too. Um, uh, anyway, I'm working on it, but I could use more hands on deck. Anyone who can follow basic instructions will do. The Argo is an enormous ship, and that code made an absolute mess of her. Understood, Samire. I need you to fetch our people, everyone but me and Yang. Get them back to the Argo and do whatever Dr. Murad tells you. Roger that, Lady Arano. I'll be there in a moment. Tell the Lance to prepare for extraction. What are we doing? What we came here for. We're going inside. I didn't bring us all this way to leave empty-handed. Captain Grigas, are your ship and crew ready? Aye, Lady Arano. The Duffinus is fully loaded and ready to drop. Good. Meet us up at the north entrance and hurry. We don't have much time before our unwelcome guests arrive. Affirmative. Recovery team inbound. House Carosis is proud to serve the restoration, my lady. Thank you, Captain. Ready yourself, Yang. I'm taking us inside. Mission successful. Well, okay. Uh, at least the mission is successful, but... Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be follow-up on this. All right. Make your way to the entrance. We did We did all the things. Campaign missions don't really give, give out bonus um, stuff, unfortunately. Um, Behemoth took damage. We we almost lost the Marauder and Behemoth. Um, like I say, I mean, like, there's a chance that they could do the same thing to us that we've been doing to uh, other mechs. Um, there were no mechs, uh, so we don't really get a pick of anything interesting. But we can take some, like, improved weapons, like a plus plus PPC there. A plus plus SRM6. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind taking honestly. Let's take the let's take two SRM6s. Unless there's anything else, no. We got the LRM10 anyway. We got some pretty good stuff, but like nothing mind blowing. I actually didn't know this one. If both of its legs are destroyed, a mech is removed from combat. Didn't know that. Didn't actually know that. That seems, um, strange. I mean, again, I think it's another argument why bipedal mechs are, don't make a lot of sense. Okay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that an army of mechs? Why is there no sound? Uh, 
I've got it turned up to max and there's no sound. Weird. Okay. Well, I feel like that's a bug. I won't you I know you won't stand down. Who's this? You're the sword of restoration. You have a reputation of uphold. Oh, that's Torian's. And that's good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to enjoy painting the ice red. With your blood. Wow. It seems unnecessarily brutal. Era? I need status report. What's your condition up there? The Argo's main drive is still offline. Now we have sound. I'm working on it in engineering. I think I've got the uh, malicious code isolated, but it's already done a lot of damage. What's your status, Lady Arano? We're on the move. Torian Marines have taken the outpost castle. Most of our salvage team is dead. Yang sealed the mech bay doors, but they won't hold for long. There are only five of us left. Me, Yang, and three of the mech warriors from the Delphinus. We're on our way to the surface in the few mechs that Yang managed to get running. Heads up, Lady Arano. When you reach the surface, you're gonna have company. I'm picking up a Torian recon lance standing just outside the main doors. Acknowledged, Miss Mayor. The recon lance doesn't worry me. When they see what we're piloting, they'll wish they'd stayed home. I'm just glad that you and Yang are still alive. Is he holding up okay? I'm riding through a frozen hellscape in a pressure cooker on legs. Getting shot at by ancient robots and a bunch of damned Torians. I've had better days. Can anyone tell me why the Torians are fighting for Espinosa? And what this Ostergard guy has against us specifically? Because this is some grade A bullshit right here. Dunno Yang, out where my answer- Yo, can you keep your background out of this? Look, the, the dude is like running for his life and you're like- I don't know, Yang. I don't have these problems back where I'm from. So this is this is all very strange to me. This is about me right now. I think you're being very selfish. The directorate must have found out about Nautilus somehow and offered it to them. How? Espinosa shouldn't know anything about our movements or the outpost castle. Aside from us and Carosis, nobody should. How the hell did they find out? Uh, find no to find us here. Best guess were we've got ourselves a mole, and the smart money says it's Otto Carosis. Remember that lady Lord Carosis told us his son returned from Weldry a different person. The directorate played with his mind and broke him somehow. You think they brainwashed him? I mean, I think that the person he who points a finger might be, uh, might be the mole, maybe. I'll send warning to Smithen as soon as I'm able, but right now the only thing that matters are fixing this ship and getting Kamea away from the Torian border. The restoration dies if she's captured. Don't worry, Lord Madeira. We'll have Samire pick them up directly. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the Argo's docking clamps are locked tight. Damn thing won't budge. Until Farah fixes whatever that thing did to the ship, the Leopard is out of commission. I'm working on it. If I can get the doors to engineering open, we can manually release the clamps. Clear the line, Doc. Focus on your work, not on us. Aye, Commander. Clearing the line. And Lady Urano, please keep yourself alive. I'll fix this, I promise. Roger that, Farah. We'll hold out for as long as we can. This elevator is accelerating. We're almost to the surface. Any second now, these doors are going to open, and we'll need some place to go. Darius, what are our options? Best bet, the Delphinus. Lord Carosa's other support ships have either fled or been destroyed. But the Delphinus is still on the planet's surface, and she's within sprinting distance of the castle gates. She's currently powered down. I don't think the Torians have detected her yet. If you can make it out of there, Captain Grigus and his crew should be able to extract you. Unless Captain Grigus is the mole? That's the plan then, Dr. Murad. Well, we will have uh, until we get there to fix the Argo. Any longer and we'll be dead. I need you to stay on the comms and guide us through this. I'll see you through safely, Lady Arana. You have my word. The elevators just come to a stop. Lights in here are flashing. Any second, the doors are going to slide open. Mech warriors, ready yourselves for action. If we don't get them off that planet, we're going to lose a chief mech tech and our most important client. 
That can't be allowed to happen. You've got this. Guide our people home. So I'm assuming this is going to jump into a new mission. I'm going to go ahead and cliffhanger this. Um, I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.